And now you want to talk to JD about the Met Office. I do. <laughs> oh, and, and, and to you about the Met Office as well. Okay. Because I, I think it's quite interesting that the BBC are going to give up on them because um, the, there's a group called Digital Exeter who meet, meet in Exeter every so often and there was a talk by somebody from the Met Office uh, the, during last, mu last month and um, I think it, it's possible that the Met Office will survive just by selling information, content um, to various pl places online. I don't know. Whether that's whether that's possible, how does that how does that sound? How does that sound? Um, well, and I I didn't realise it was that long they were providing the service to the BBC, um, but then again, you, it depends on which where you look for your information. If it's online, then if the Met Office can provide that service all the time and much more accurate than they have been doing. <laughs> you think it's more accurate online? I don't think it. I don't know. I I. I Put on one day and it was being sort of nice and sunny, and the next minute and the next time you look at it, it's snowing. So I don't really know, you know, whether to believe it or not. That's the thing. It's the belief um, whether the service is up to square square or not. But then again, you know, we we must knock them because it's it is a very difficult job. Do you at the moment access? weather forecasts on online through your only, phone or only the Met Office at the moment I tried the BBC one yeah. but I found that wasn't accurate enough it changed as soon as you got to Thursday morning and two days ago it's going to say like I said it's going to rain and then you got to Thursday morning and the sun was out so I <laughs> so you, know, you do find the Met Office through an app or something at the moment I don't it, it, I haven't tried it out on long term at the moment I'm, that's my next experiment in life okay <laughs> whether I choose to accept the challenge I don't know <laughs> so it's possible that the Met Office could survive just uh, through social media and so forth well it depends on where, where they sell it to that's the thing you know, they, if they've been selling to the BBC for all those years, yeah. that's a hell of a big chunk of their revenue gone. So you would think, they, wouldn't you? Yes. You would think so they they need another output somewhere, whether it's going to be global or not. Well, some sort of uh, app or online mm. would work. John, early, earlier on, you you were telling me that the, the iPhone. See, I'm I'm a bit lost for all these things. It just comes with a weather app. Uh, right. Yes, and as far as I'm aware, the weather app is actually ran by Yahoo. The, the, um, the app, at, the app will get their weather information from Yahoo. Uh, just like uh, before Apple Maps, <laughs> Apple actually got their information from Google Maps, but now Apple, Apple had their Apple had their own mapping system, and it's a load of rubbish, <laughs> in my opinion. Uh, yeah. But but. Um, <laughs> Google Maps still works better, but that's besides the point. Before, um, Google, uh, Apple Apple used Google Maps for their mapping system. Now Apple have their own mapping system, um, but they're still using Yahoo for their weather information. And where Yahoo get their information, we don't we don't know. Oh, well, well, it's probably common sense, mate. They probably get it from the Met Office. Or <laughs> okay. Some, so they, you know, I mean, Google it. Google will tell you where they get their information from. I suppose that's right. Or Yahoo would tell them tell tell you themselves. Yeah, but there's no there's no reason why why the Met Office couldn't to just just carry on uh, offering offering something. You could write a letter and ask them. Yeah. Well, we'll try and find out. You are so concerned. You could probably write a letter and ask. Well, <laughs> well, it's a bit concerning, isn't it? I mean, we don't we don't know anything about the weather on Follow FM. Obviously, we don't do a weather forecast. We live in a basement. It's and, snowing uh, at the moment. <laughs> would you believe it? <laughs> I would, I would Is it believe raining? it. <laughs> Is it raining? <laughs> it was raining when I came in. Only lightly, though. Oh, so good. it's uh, probably snowing now. Well, we'll know we'll know shortly what it what it's like. But yeah, no, I think from Exeter's point of view, we we may be the, the first. Um, content creating city outside of the license fee very shortly well sometime next year or the year after which would be interesting wouldn't it hmm. i think that could be could be quite interesting but we'll try and get some information back and maybe thursday uh, about 10 o'clock we'll talk about it again if we know any more about it